Hello, in this video I'm going to show how you can expose variables from counter rig to an animation blueprint so you can pass information outside the counter rig. Um, I hope this is helpful and let me know in the comments if you have any questions. For this video I'm using the counter rig card box uh, which is a free rig from Epic. Um, I'm just going to add a little variable here, uh, which will move the whole rig. Basically, I want to move, be able to move this main controller uh, in a blueprint, for example. So what I need to do is that I'll go here, my blueprints, and I'll add a variable, and I'll call um, move rig. And I will change it to be a vector because I want to pass the information to this controller. So I want it to be a vector. And I also need to click on here so it's public. Which means basically I can access and visualize this from outside the control rig. Um, at this moment, this is not doing anything. Basically, it's not affecting anything. So I need to make this variable affect something. So I will just get the variable and then I'll go to the global uh, controller and I'll just grab it and I will set control and I'll pass this variable to value here and I'll do this as the final thing after the forward solve after everything is done this is the last uh, change and if I press compile, so now if I change this variable to be, let's say, minus 50 and compile, then the rig moves accordingly. So now if I go to the skeletal mesh and I create uh, an anim blueprint, I can then pass this information from the blueprint. So for that, I will need to pass the control rig here um, and I'll need the input pose. So if I click here, I can then select the rig in this uh, part here, control rig class. So I'll just search for card box, um, compile. And then you can see here that there is an output option now and there is the move rig which is the variable uh, I was I uh, just created. So if I check this box, then it becomes exposed in here. So I can, from here, I can then modify the rig. So yep, that's how you do it. And then from here, of course, then you create, you can create different ways to affect and change this variable. But basically, this is how you expose it. And thanks for watching. <laughs> See you next time.